Hey everyone, someone requested that I add a, um, like a tutorial on the base, but I wasn't exactly sure what they wanted me to do. So here's the base that I um, used in the previous song. Let's see, it goes into operator. Maybe I could just solo operator. Could I? Let's see. This is a but. Um, I could probably just turn off the... Oh, never mind. Um... There's that. Then with a delay. Compressor. Amp. EQ. This is actually for the... Um, it connects to the um, macro here. Oops. Wait, which one is that? Oh. Then the simple delay adds like some um, like stereo effects to it, and then EQ8. Saturator adds like a lot of um, like crunch to it. And then the spectrum, oh, it does nothing. Um, the compressor here. The first compressor um, like compresses one part of the band with the um, the um, crap. Too tired right now. Um, compresses part of the volume here and then again here. So it's like double compression. Then the limiter. So it still has like that um, compressed, crunchy kind of sound. And then the compressor again. This connects to the um, drum rack here and I actually connected it to. Uh, um, a, um, a note that doesn't even have any volume to it, so. I'll just remake that for you guys. Um, Let's see. Wait, that sounds good just like that.
So now I want like a kind of pluck kind of sound right here, so I'm going to use the macro and like make an envelope right there.
do with this part actually is um, separate it put it onto a different track the um, upper lead part so let's see probably toxic biohazard love this thing <laughs>
at 120 maybe? Nope, 
I'll just use operator. Oh well. Uh. Oh, that would sound sick. Let's see, where is that? Um. Not that one, I don't think. Really? that base I was using, god damn it. It's fucked up. Um That works.
not working. Um, So proud of myself. Let's see. Um, hmm. Surprisingly, sounds pretty good. Um, I need a pad there or something. Um. Okay, that's all for now. I'm going to go to bed now. Thanks for watching, and yeah.